Then we're gonna go to the actual appointment. You have less than four seconds to make a good first impression. It takes about four seconds for them to all the experience you set up here and find a congruency. Remember that word? Congruency. What is the first thing they notice about you when you pull up? Car. The car you drive. They may not notice it consciously. Again, this is not a process where they go, Lexus 450, so that's about $75,000. It's about two years old. OK, well, not, it doesn't work that way, but they register it. Your car is important. And it should reflect the status you want to communicate. Now, if what you drive is what you drive is what you drive. Do the best you can what you got, as long as it's clean. I had a rust bucket. Anybody saw that picture? My Cadillac? You could smell it three blocks away. I swear I'd be all settled like, <laughs> Burino is coming. <laughs> oh, shit. I swear, EPA would throw me to jail for that today. So, four seconds. First thing they notice is your car. Do the best you can. Make sure it's clean, make sure it's decent. But if you can, get a nice car. People pay attention. They immediately judge your power, your social status, your affluence, and your wealth. We are pre-wired because we are pack animals to be attracted to somebody who is high status powerful. It's just wired in our brain. So you have four seconds. So the first thing they notice is your car. What's the second thing they notice? How you dress. What's the third thing, third thing they notice? One before that. Yes. Now, if they watch, sometimes they do. People do strange things. And then the last thing is the way you speak. How you introduce yourself, how you shake hands, eye contact, your energy overall. They're evaluating the five Cs. Subconscious is processing immediately. Croc brain is on overdrive, processing the first four seconds. Which bucket you gonna end up in? After that, their first impression is starting to harden. It's like a cement. It's very liquid at first, up to here, then it starts hardening. First four seconds, it's pretty set. The form is pretty set. About three, four, five minutes in, it's done. Then it's just a matter of technicalities. OK, everybody clear so far? Pretty different from what you've been told, right? Not many people will tell you how this really works. I don't know why. I think that's part of it. I think that's part of it. And the second part, and that was my struggle, by the way. You may be wondering why it took me so long to roll this out for you. I had to figure out a way to teach you guys. Because I've been doing this all along. I just didn't know how. I always thought, well, that's just a talent. Maybe it's my personality. Maybe, you know. I had to figure out, to, to dissect it enough to show you this is what I'm doing, and here's how you can do the same thing. Okay? Most of it happens up to this point. Your presentation is the least important one. Because if they decide up to this point they don't like you, your presentation can be the most polished, professional. You are so fucked. And they know it, and you know it. I mean, be honest. When was the last time you walked on a listening presentation, you walk in and say, I got this. And you got it. Happens, right? But wasn't it also the other way around? You walk in and say, this is going to be an uphill battle. God help me with this one. And then at the end they go, oh, this was interesting, Josh. Thank you. We'll think about it. We have a couple more people we want to talk to, and we'll get back to you. Do they get back to you? No. no. They don't get back to you. <laughs> They're just polite. They don't want to tell you, dude, we don't like you. They're just kind to get you off the hook easy. Now, you can still salvage, and I'll show you some things tomorrow, what you can do. One of my favorite is when they say we want to think it over. Watch. Just remind me tomorrow to show you. OK? So here's what we're going to do next. 